like three leaves that fell from this tree and I like literally gasped and said, oh, it's fall. It's time to tell the truth of what happened to me. Oh my. Super dramatic. <laughs> right now I have like a little less than three hours of sleep. Which is not that. No, I actually feel really good. And I like the fact that we're here and it's cool this morning. It feels like it's fall. It's chilly, it's yeah. like 73. But I did fall asleep uh, sitting on my bed at like 1.45 and I woke up at 4.30 to finish editing the Vloggers View podcast vlog. Extravaganza. I need some coffee. We're going to breakfast. We're not even showcasing breakfast with the Brookharts here though. Yes! What? I love this place. <laughs> We're not here yet. Yeah, so we're meeting up with our friends. Wedding. Robert and George. Wedding shoots going on. Or is it engagement? So it's wedding. So here's the ooey gooey sandwich. Looks ooey gooey and delicious. The butter butter? Butter butter. <laughs> Just buttery and spray. Everything, everything. <laughs> Two sides of bacon, some water, some coffee, and a Jordan and a Robert. Yay. They went to the Halloween party last night, and they killed it. They waited the longest wait was 40 minutes for Jack. It's like 40 minutes. We waited two and a half hours last year. I'm hoping we're going on Tuesday finally, and I hope that we have the same wait times. And they didn't even comment that I wore this hat just for them because the Cubs are the best team in the world. <laughs> Way better than that weird team that they like. Have you guys ever noticed the ceiling in Screen Door at Boardwalk? It's so nice. We're doing breakfast with the Brick Hut. It's so sunny right now. All of my dreams are about to come true because I was nervous last night that, um, that, that I wasn't going to get the podcast up. And I will because it's done. It's exporting. I still have to post it from the Patreon, from my patrons. But I was nervous that I wasn't going to get done. And I was nervous that we weren't going to do breakfast with the Brick Hut. So that's why I'm going to go downtown. And I was nervous we weren't going to see Robert Jordan and Jordan. Robert. And I was nervous that we weren't going to see the parade. But it looks like everything is going to happen. Wow. I have an issue. Where if it doesn't go how I have it planned in my mind, I think it's gonna go haywire. <laughs> and it's something that I need to work on. And the camera set up because we found struggle, struggle. We found a nice place to hang out. Look at it. Looks Say like hi we to are. The vlog. Looks like we're gonna hang out with Harry Potter. Boardwalk, and look who we see. Where is Rapunzel? Funniest thing happened. We were, we were live streaming going to leave the boardwalk. Hold on, let me close the door. It's toasty. We were live streaming, getting ready to finish the live stream. And so, Sarah didn't even get to say bye. I said bye for you, by the way. Thank you. And um, a family's walking by and sees us live streaming, and the, the mom goes, Oh, the WDW couple. So, I just nicely. Hey! <laughs> I was, I nicely corrected her and was like, um, just let her know who we were. She's like, oh no, I watch you guys too. She just had, she's like, oh, the book she, yeah, she got fumbled. So, um, she was awesome. She did the Disney College program. Look how red I got so fast. Um, she did the Disney College program in the 90s. She was like the heart of old studios that we know and love. So I wanted to give her a hug <laughs> because of it. Yeah. Um, so thank you again for saying hi and chatting with us. Yeah. So I played with Eve while Peter got the vlogger's view situated and now I need to edit. <laughs> I really need some inspiration. Because Peter's about to take a nap. And I think I just might too. Pour in your favorite hot beverage and watch the magic unfold. Who's it from? We got these magical mugs. Pure Pan and then Tinkerbell. Doesn't say who it's from. Thank you whoever If you so, sent these to us, please let us know. It looks like they're black. Oh, that's cool. So they're black. And then when you put something hot in them, 
I don't know if I, my hand's gonna make it to it. They switched to a different. This is a Rapunzel one. Here we are again in Orlando in a parking garage. And paying dirt, dirt Shag. cheap prices. This can be fifteen dollars for four to twelve hours. Somebody dropped their popcorn and their M and M's. Where are we? <laughs> Um, the thing is, we just left out of the freight entrance, <laughs> and I don't know even where we are right now. <laughs> when Sarah wants a monster, you get a monster, yeah. It's the downtown Sarah coming out. Everybody had naps today, so. Oh. So we don't actually remember if we said why we're downtown tonight. Because we talked about it in the live stream today, but I don't know if you mentioned it on the vlog. And our plans have changed a little bit because there's been festivities going on all day. So today is the official end of Come Out Orlando, the festival. And so I think Thursday was National Come Out Day. Yeah. So they have this cool festival all day long today at Lake Eola. They had a parade at four o'clock. They had, you know, bands, food, tents, all kinds of fun stuff. It's a festival. And it's still going on. There was a rally at six, which I think we're missing right now. But you never know. Right, and then there's more concerts throughout the night and then fireworks in Lake Eola at uh, nine o'clock. And actually, I think Sean must have been on our live stream because he texted me like an hour and a half ago. He's like, hey, are you coming downtown? So we might I actually... Chica. Oh. Because Chica was volunteering. Gotcha. So we actually might meet up with, with Sean. Maybe Chica when she gets off, but it should be a fun time over at Lake Yola. So literally all the festivities are around this corner to the left and we can already hear... Sarah literally just looked at me and said, I hear a party. <laughs> This little tired girl in the wagon. <laughs> She's literally sleeping. So I guess we came at the end, but I'm glad we saw some of it. Oh, look, we missed some of the fun, but there's a lot of fun to still be had. And our buddy Sean is meeting up with us. He's going to drop off stuff at his car, and then he's going to come meet back up. Look at the most colorful parade. Look at all the people. This is one of the. This is the Walt Disney Bowl. They're having concerts here all night. But I mean, it's hard to see from right here, but we'll, we'll take a lap around it, but all around the lake there's these tents and companies and food and delicious smells and nice people, right? Right. And we're staying right here until Sean shows up. There's dogs everywhere and we found a Sean! Hey! Hey! hey. Not just us, man. Actually, it's not just us, it's you, me, and like a couple hundred and thousands of our closest friends in Orlando. Yes, I mean, look at this. We are like slowly snail space walking. We're coming back for you. We are doing the fireworks. We will be seeing the fireworks. But Sean, Sarah said, I really want tacos. And Sean said, tacos, follow me. So when Sean says follow him, what do you do? Follow. You follow. Authentic as you can, can, yeah. But if you get the double D's, uh, okay. it's a hard taco. Oh my god, it's like a Crunchwrap Supreme. Yes. Oh yes. yes. Look at that. <laughs> and for anybody who's wondering, they are hiring. Apply with them. If you're looking to move to Orlando, look, Gringos Locos could could have you. Yeah. Yes. 
Wow, that was probably the best taco place I've had since some of our native places in Chicago. It's funny, a lot of our food splurges too have been at Disney. That was like the first like to stop and get food. Yeah, but we got an hour until the fireworks. So we need to find a washroom. We need to find water or pop and find a nice comfy spot on the grass at Lake Eola. Sean went to go meet up with some friends. I don't, he may, I don't think he's ended up meeting back up with us, but he he's said potentially. Because we're not hanging out, I don't think, after the fireworks. We're gonna Orange County Regional head out. History Center. That's Ooh, cool. history and orange and the county. So we gotta go on our hunt. All right, we're checking out this Deeply Coffee place because we have to use the restroom. I think I follow him on Instagram. Yeah. Deeply Coffee? Yeah. Is this the new place that uh -huh. we've talked about? Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at this. Super cool. I want it for myself. We do love a good map. Look at how sleek and fancy this place is. Look at it. So there's the menu. I'm gonna get a drip coffee. Reminds me of Chicago very much. Oh, look at those waffles. And that banana nut looking muffin. Ooh, look at this one, they're dog friendly. But look at this, they got water, glass cups. We got the setup here, look at this cup. Let's sit right here. Let's sit right here and have such a good time. Oh, no big deal. She's just making herself right at home on this five feet suspended off the ground, sitting like a hood rat. We explained that as like being a finale the whole entire show. Yes, and we used a similar description for the Epcot Moonlight Magic fireworks and how like scary it was to be so close. But that was They're definitely like closer yeah. and more low. Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of place. I need someone's opinion who's been to Chicago Pride and Orlando Pride to, to know your opinion because I feel like that is better than Chicago's, but Sarah pointed out we can't justifiably say that because we've never been to Chicago's actual Pride. But Chicago does like a pride marathon or pride parade. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like it besides little cult, like communities doing their own thing. But this has been going on all week in yeah, Orlando. And also like there's Boys Town in Chicago and I know that there is like a central like gay bar club area in Orlando that like they celebrate all year round. Yeah. So like I don't know, I haven't been to that area in Orlando to know that energy too. Yes. I don't know. But I loved it. Like, Orlando's doing it. Orlando's doing something right when yeah. it comes to this. Because this was a. We only came. I wish, like, imagine if we came here during the day when there was like. Well, we were kind all of all the like, family festivities going on earlier. Yeah, we wish that we would have been here sooner. But like, I'm I'm happy that we didn't let us coming later like stop us from coming at all. Yeah, because we almost didn't. We were almost like, should we? But there was so much to do still, so much fun stuff, and it was a lot of fun. And we got to hang out with Sean. Yeah. We're home. We're home. My phone was dead. Look at my crazy hair. <laughs> my phone was dead and I had 29 text messages. The Earhart's are singing Hamilton tonight, so we were pretty extensively talking to him. And look at... I think Matt and Ben are at Epcot or they're about to leave Epcot. So we actually are taking the couch watching Greatest Showman because we haven't in like two whole months. Alright, we didn't even get... <gasps> I heard Eve. I stepped on his toe. Um, we didn't even get very far in, um, not one man's dream, <laughs> greatest showman, we're gonna go to bed. But it's nice because it's only, it's not even 11.30. Really? We're going to bed on a Saturday. Look at my crazy hair. It's 11.18, but we had a busy, busy, early, early day and a late, 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 late night last night. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.